Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on Wrapped Luna, XRP, Songbird, Flare, and Coinbase. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about this because this is something that's been going on for a while now. It's almost a year since what happened with Wrapped Luna. People are still waiting for her Songbird as well. Now their Flare airdrop. And I only hold one non-utility driven crypto and it's Wrapped Luna. I bought it because I like that community over there. But they're a victim of Coinbase and Ethereum and Do Kwon as well. So I bought Wrapped Luna from Coinbase Exchange. There was no Luna Classic back then. Wrapped Luna is not Luna Classic. Stop changing asset names. Stop playing with investors' funds. Fix it. And I believe they should fix it as well. Because think about it. Luna crashed. People held Wrapped Luna. Then they forked Luna into Luna 2. But yet, that didn't abide by the smart contract around Wrapped Luna. And this could affect any Wrapped token. Thank you for stealing my Wrapped Luna. Can't send it anywhere, even though it says available to trade under the balance summary. It's stuck in your account. That is theft. You stole from your customers. I will be contacting the state AG to file a complaint first thing Monday morning. Now, a lot of people are very mad about this. You know, if Brian Armstrong came out and just addressed this problem, you know, made a statement about Wrapped Luna, fixed what's going on with it, or maybe even Vitalik, since the smart contract sits on Ethereum, but nothing. I have no sympathy. I have no opinion. I have no debate. I have a smart contract. I have blockchain history. I have Wrapped Luna. Wrapped Luna equals the new Luna. And no one is talking about this at Coinbase. I believe what happened here is when they allowed the fork to happen with Luna, everybody forgot about Wrapped Luna. Even Coinbase doesn't want to address it now. And it's a travesty because it leaves a lot of retail investors sitting there waiting for any kind of word from either Vitalik or Brian Armstrong. But nothing. And it pisses people off. Dear Lord, please make the Rap Luna Rich Gang go away. Vitalik could have done something about this, in my opinion. You know, everybody that's tied to crypto always says, we're here fighting for crypto. We're here to make sure crypto is the future. But yet, any time a problem arises, people just ignore it. We will keep fighting for economic freedom. Our mission at Coinbase some days being the most trusted brand in crypto means protecting our customers from government overreach. Why not protect your customers from themselves? You know, I still feel something needs to be done here. And I feel a lot of people could have got very rich off Wrapped Luna and they didn't like that idea. Because if it did pay to the new Luna 2, a lot of people definitely would have cashed out. So maybe too many people would have cashed out all at once. Maybe that was the issue early on. Or maybe they're waiting for Luna 2 to go to zero. Then they'll fix Wrapped Luna. Who knows? So really, what about my Wrapped Luna investment in Coinbase? Why my Wrapped Luna are following Wrapped Luna Classic instead of Luna? Why still suspend it? Come on, Brian, stop lying and show us you really mean what you're saying. And this is one crypto. But then look at the people with Songbird as well. You aren't the most trusted brand in crypto. You literally stole your client's Songbird and have never said a word about it in spite of irate public backlash. I refuse to touch your scammy company and warn people not to use Coinbase. You are a thief. And again, people could be staking their Songbird right now and earning from it. Instead, it's tied up at Coinbase with them not being able to access it. Coinbase, when do I get my Flare airdrop? Forget about the Songbird you stole from your users. Flare was the only reason I used your exchange. And again, a lot of people started using Coinbase because of this. We're going to also talk about them delisting XRP in this video as well. You know, they get people on board and people trust in these exchanges and all of a sudden they find out they're not trustworthy. First question should be, when is Coinbase and Brian Armstrong giving their customers their Songbird and Flare tokens from Flare Network and Hugo Fillion? Now, maybe Hugo should make a statement about this as well, because somebody needs to speak up for the retail investor. I say it all the time. You know, everybody wants to get into crypto. 
you know, you work hard for your money, you want to invest, you hope to get massive gains in the future, and then you fall victim of either the exchange or rug pulls or anything else that happens inside of crypto. Look what happened with FTX. But, you know, yesterday on TV, Gary Gensler said, not your keys, not your crypto. And I believe he's coming for all these exchanges at some point. And that's why you should always follow that as well. Not your keys, not your crypto. Get your crypto off exchanges as soon as possible. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong, we will keep fighting for economic freedom. Now, people want Coinbase to relist XRP as well, especially after what happened with LBRY. But Coinbase is all about staking now. That's what they're really worried about. They want clear staking regulations. That's what they want. Well, first step should be to make your retail investors that invest in your exchange whole again you know when they delisted xrp they didn't have to they chose to and yet people are still waiting to get access to their some of their xrp that's tied up on coinbase as well i haven't used coinbase ever i use uphold i use mexc i got away from coinbase early on and i'm glad i did Coinbase should relist XRP under the SEC versus LBRY standard. XRP sold on the secondary holders is not a security. So it's clearly right there. It's not a security. So why not relist it? Think about all the gains Coinbase can make. All that FOMO money coming into XRP when it starts pumping back up again. You know, I feel that every exchange should look out for retail investors. If, they, if Gary Gensler isn't looking out for us, Who's going to look out for us? No one. We're in this. We rolled the dice coming into crypto, hoping for the best, and we're getting the worst from all sides. Exchanges. The government trying to kick us out of crypto. Look at Warren and Gensler. Then on top of that, you have rug pulls inside of crypto that are still happening, and they go overlooked. Gary Gensler should be definitely looking at the issues at Coinbase as far as Songbird, Flare, and Rap Luna. That's what it comes down to. And that's why I make these videos. Because somebody needs to talk about this. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said, I hold mostly utility-driven cryptocurrencies. But Rap Luna is the one and only non-utility-driven crypto I hold. And I don't tell, suggest people to go out and get Rap Luna or Luna in any way. Because if you're going to invest, you want to invest in the safe investments, the utility-driven coins. With that said, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great night.